Oof, I am Izzana Ansari. I am a chartered accountant and a management accountant by profession. And I moved to Canada under the Federal uh, Skilled Workers Express Entry Program in 2021. On this channel, I am sharing my immigration journey because I did my immigration application myself, and I moved to Canada alone. So I've seen the whole process up close, uh, and I believe that I can help answering your questions. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you also hit the bell icon so that you never ever ever miss a video. Also I do regular updates on my life in Canada as a new immigrant on my Instagram. Uh, so make sure that you also follow me over there. I am leaving the Instagram handle over here and I uh, hope that I see you there too. In our previous episode, we talked about how do you calculate your CRS score. And today we will be talking about what to compare that score with. So in case you have not watched my previous episodes, I strongly recommend that you watch them because all of these videos would make so much more sense if you uh, know the background to it. And uh, yeah, so make sure that you watch them and I'm leaving a link to it in the here and in the video description box below. So what you have to do is, is that you have to compare your score to the latest trending uh, score for applications that are being accepted. Um, that is basically called the minimum cutoff score that you need in order to be able to immigrate, to be accepted as an immigrant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check what that uh, trending score has been and for that I would want you to go to the link that I am providing in the video description box below um, you can do it later for now I will take you to that link and we're gonna see how to check uh, what has been the latest you know draw and uh, what has been the minimum cutoff score in that draw so let's go Using the link in the video description box, you should land on this page which says Ministerial Instructions Respecting Invitations to Apply for Permanent Residence Under the Express Entry System. Quite a long title, I know. But on this page, we will actually see the draws that have been taking place in the past and the cutoff score that was used in order to uh, invite candidates to apply for permanent residence. Um, if you want to read more, just go ahead and you know uh, read more on this web page. But I'm just going to explain. If you scroll down, you will see this numbering of the draws. So till date, there have been 215 draws. It says the date of the last draw was February 2, 2022. The provincial immigration program that they did a draw for was provincial nominee program which as we discussed in one of our episodes is different from the federal skilled workers program the number of invitations to apply that they issued were 1070 and the lowest score uh, that was invited to apply uh, was 674 so now you're probably wondering why do i only see provincial nominee program where is the last federal skilled workers program so the thing is that the federal skilled workers program draws um, have not been taking place since um, I would say December 2020 because over here they say no program specified which means that they did a draw from all the uh, applications that they had no matter which category they fell in and then they you know just got the candidates that they wanted so this was the last time that they did a uh, draw for the federal skilled workers program because of covid it has been very difficult for them to continue to do draws because it was difficult for them to actually even invite the people who had you know already uh, gotten everything processed even they had to wait for uh, canada to lift restrictions to travel so therefore the applications have been piling up since then and as you can see all the draws after december 2020 have been either for the canadian experience class or for the provincial nominee program and even for the canadian experience class the last uh, draw that was held was in september 2021 
So things are looking a little grim for federal skilled workers program, unfortunately, at this point. But um, this is going to get better soon, as soon as the backlog of applications that see, uh, the that IRCC has is cleared. Once that backlog is cleared, then IRCC would be able to invite more people from the federal skilled workers category. But the point of they showing you this was to compare your score to the cutoff score mentioned over here. So if your score was less than this score, then you would not be invited for this round. And what you have to do is you have to see the trend. So over here, if you see the trend, it's mostly, you know, for provincial nominee program it's mostly 700 drops down to 685, then goes up to even 800. So this is a trend for the nominee provincial nominee program. We scroll down for Canadian experience class the last draw had a score of 462 the one before that for Canadian experience class had a score of 403 so for, for anyone applying in a Canadian experience class this would be a good score to have because they might make, make make the cut let's go and look at what was the score on the last uh, federal skilled workers draw and the cutoff score here was 468. So if your score is for less than 468 at the moment, then um, there is the chances of you getting an invitation might be very low because it is suspected that during this time when so many application backlog has been created, there are there are going to be many people who are going to have a score even above 500. So for the first few draws, uh, the turn for people who have a little low scores might not be able to come. And overall, the score is expected to remain quite high, but you never know with immigration when things change. So um, I would just say that look, take a look at this page, go even further back, try to see what has been the cutoff score in the past and just assess your profile from that perspective. So now that you know what to compare your score to, um, are you wondering how to increase your points? Um, if you are, then let's talk about that in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel and you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss my video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.